ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Crazy Minecraft. Now, I do have a confession. I recorded like an entire 40 minute episode of Witchery and I advanced a little bit. I basically just made an altar in that episode and the sound didn't work. So I'm going to have to uh, just, just go with it and just tell you guys that I advanced in Witchery a little bit. And today we are going to be making some crazy circles, magic circles with chalk and stuff and I have a chalice um, but yeah let's go ahead and go up here I also um, I received a email or not really email a uh, letter from Kraken so before I introduce the subscriber of the day let me go ahead and read that for you guys so basically we're gonna kill this rock get out of my face now Kraken says I can't believe you actually blew up Niles moon base lol that's what I said that's radical no one says radical anymore why that don't bring that back in style, Craig Kid. I didn't think you had it in you to prank anyone, especially with a nuke. Maybe we can work together after all, he says. What What about we have a shared space station? Once we control the skies, we can landlock both Nile and Cody. Let me know what you think from Kraken Kid. Now, I don't know about you guys, but Kraken Kid seems like he's pulling one over on me. He's trying to get me to do something. He's probably trying just to make me build his space station for free without giving me anything, just like I built that entire rocket ship and he stole it, Crazy Horse. He stole it, which leads me to Crazy Horse. Let me introduce the subscriber of the day. His name is Crazy Horse. He is my guard for the day with this giant sword that looks like one of those popsicles that you get from a, an ice cream truck. Uh, like a super, he's Superman popsicle and then a normal popsicle. Oh, it's disappearing, that's kind of weird. But it's a giant sword. He's dressed as Superman. He is crazy strong. Let's go ahead and put him on follow and Crazy Horse, please guard me while I do today's episode. Now, for the actual episode, we are going to be moving. So I made an altar right here. We're going to be moving the altar. It doesn't work right here because it's wood and apparently witchery doesn't like wood. You're gonna have to move it down there to the grass where we can plant flowers and stuff and give the altar more power. Because witchery gets power from having a lot of greenery around it. That's why I got all these birch saplings and dandelions and uh, poppies and stuff. Uh, wolfbane seeds, stuff like that, and stuff to make the altar stronger, like the Witcher, Wither Skeleton School, the Chalice, and everything. So, I'm sorry that you guys can't see how I made all this, like the oil of vitriol. It's really simple stuff. I was just brewing in the brewing in the. I made a distillery as well. I was just brewing stuff in the cauldron, and then popped out uh, uh, gypsum, which is to make chalk. Uh, we we made the distillery and then the distillery we just threw stuff in there randomly and got the oil vitriol stuff like that um, But we also have some more stuff in here as well. Look how many we got the breath of the goddess We got some oils obviously we have more horned ones and then that's pretty much good to go But we are going to be moving all the stuff down there and I'm going to be doing circle magic today I hope you guys are excited to do that now first things first Let's get down there. You're on follow, right? All right, come on, crazy horse. Let's get down here. I am super fast. Let me go uh, kill to normal speed because uh, I am flying. Let's go ahead and kill the farmy. farmer. Get it. the farmy. Okay. Okay, die farmer. Yeah, just get out of my face. There we go. So, first things first. Let's put the altar down. Do, 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 do. Boom. It has a red carpet that drapes over it. Now. Um, to make the altars, I guess I can go ahead and show you guys the uh, the recipe. I just needed to uh, make um, you put birch in the cauldron thingies, and then it makes breath of the goddess uh, fumes, and then you just use the exhale the horned one, the horned one, and then the water bottle with the rowan wood. We got a bunch of rowan saplings going over here, and we got some more rowan wood and leaves. So whenever we need a sapling, we will be good to go in that field. And also, you're gonna, you're gonna want to throw some uh, throw some oak saplings into the uh, the uh, witch's oven as well. So we'll go ahead and put the distillery. Now the distillery and the cauldron need to be near the near the altar. So let's go ahead and put them on the other side. I think I will do my my uh, circles. How about I do my circles going that way, and then I'll do my distillery and stuff all right here. So let's go ahead and put the cauldron down right there. We need to put a uh, we need to put um, lava or not lava, but uh, netherrack underneath it. Um, I believe I have my nether rack still over here actually let's go ahead and grab that where are you at there you are another rack so let's go ahead and grab that now we got the flint and steel somewhere as well uh, but we will see uh, let's see where is the flint and steel actually right there so we will get this cauldron or this uh, yeah cauldron going and we will nether rack right there 
put them in the wreck down here, set it on fire so our cauldron can get some flying flame. Uh, let's go put that right there, bink, and fill in the dirt right there. Now, the distillery is next, so let's put that right there to distill stuff. See, with this, and now the altar has a bit of power, so um, the distillery is working. That little uh, explanation or cross went away, so we do have power from the altar. Now, as you can see, the altar has 671 power just from the surrounding grass. Now, if we put some rowan saplings down, so we put like rowan saplings right, uh, right here, put them right here, put them right there, right there, it gets more power the more stuff you have around it. Now that's important. So we put the ovens down right there and uh, we can put some dandelions around uh, as well to even give it more power. Um, maybe it'll peak us into 700. Yep, 711. Now we'll go ahead and put more dandelions down. More dandelions! And that will give us a bit more. 711. Uh, 711. Okay, that's fine for now. But all right, so let's go ahead and put some birch saplings actually too. Uh, maybe like right here. You gotta like you gotta like change up what you're putting down, and it gets more power like that. Now, what you can also do to increase the power is put uh, kind of like heirlooms on the top on the altar. So let's go ahead and put a wither skeleton skull and check this out. Boom! It looks at me. That's kind of creepy. When you open this up or the altar up, boom! 2300 now. That's insane. And also the chalice does that as well. So you put the chalice down and it gets 3,000 power. Um, I will explain what the power is a little bit later. But you can also put a torch right there and then I, th I think that increases the speed it regenerates. But sweet. So we have a pretty much fully functional witchery altar now. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, store some stuff in my book bag and we will go and get all the chalk and stuff required for the magic circles and then we will dive into that. So let's go ahead and put all this stuff right here but all of it right there um, so um, also I made these books so if you make the books uh, I made this one out of distilling and circle magic so this one is made from basically you just get some paper uh, you get a belladonna flower I have a little garden of them and a breath of the goddess and that makes the distilling and this pretty much tells you everything you need to know about distilling so like you distill foul fume and quicklime and you get gypsum and all this stuff uh, Breath of the Goddess and Lapis Lazuli gives you Tear of the Goddess and a bunch of other stuff like Whiff of Magic, which is really important. And you can even do Diamond in the distillery. So it's pretty crazy. The distillery is pretty powerful, but we will come to what we need when we need it. But Circle Magic is what we are focused on. So I had to make the Golden Chalk, um, which required a Magic Root, a Golden Nugget, and a Normal Chalk. So let's go ahead and fly over here and get the Chalk, get that all sorted out. Why are there bones over there? That's a little strange. Where is my golden chalk? That is the real question. I might have got rid of it in game mode. I actually think I game moded it wrong. Like I deleted it by accident. So let me go ahead and just go and cheat this in. Now I did make this. I'm not cheating. I promise. <laughs> I don't I actually. I think I like middle clicked something and then it deleted the golden chalk. But I did make the golden chalk. It's pretty simple. It just requires 3,000 power in your altar. So. So we're going back to game of zero here. Um, so we get all the chalk. We got three chalk right here. Oh, that's the book bag, not the chalk. Um, so let's go ahead and grab. Let's just uh, let's just let's see what's in here too. Uh, let's grab all the fumes. Um, let's just go ahead and grab uh, break this iron chest, uh, and we'll attempt to pick it up here. Come on, pick up the chest, you dang thing. There we go. We got the chest. So let's go ahead and uh, put it in inventory. We'll go ahead and take it over there and put it down, and then we will be good so let's put all our witchery stuff right here so put all the witchery stuff right there even the cracking kid message we're gonna put it all in here and be good to go ritual chalk we'll keep that in inventory for now um, we'll keep the books as well the flint steel can go in here the safari net backpack all right sweet so let's go pick up all these other items that we dropped because this is all important as well let's go ahead and break the other iron chest and then we will be successfully moved over into our new spot Water artichoke globe. That's actually really important. We need to keep an eye on that. Um, I believe that is what we need in uh, the next kind of circle thing that we're trying to do. Oh, the golden chalk. Oh, no. MC one for Mr. Crazy Horse. Oh, there you are. Jesus. Scare me. And, oh, yeah, I had some uh, dinosaur food cooking, too. I forgot about that. And then we'll go throw all the rest of the stuff in the chest, and then we will get this thing on the road. Let's get the chalk out. Um, so see if I know how to do this ritual chalk like this 
Um, so let's go ahead and read the Witchcraft Circle Magic before I do this, actually. So, Witchcraft Circle Magic. Do, 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 do. Number one, draw circles using colored chalk with a heart glyph at the center, which is what the golden chalk is for. An altar is often needed for power. We have the altar, and we got plenty of power. Drop the foci items into the circle, and then activate the heart glyph. Dun, 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 dun. So we're going to have to do the smallest one, probably, and then we'll put the golden chalk in the middle. But let's go to page two. Rite of Binding. Pulls the circles into the talisman. Uh, okay, so circle talisman and a redstone and a 1,000 altar power. So we have plenty of altar power now. What is a, uh, what was, what did it say? Circle of, circle of what? Circle talisman. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. And I grabbed the gold and the crafting table. Where is the crafting table? There it is. So let's go ahead and put this right here. And let's make the... Uh, first, we need to make nuggets, probably. Nuggets on the sides. Boom, we have a circle talisman. That looks pretty cool. It looks like a rare item. Um, so, let's attempt to do this ritual crazy horse. It's going to get crazy. <laughs> so, <clears throat> let's do the small circle. So, three by three, and then one over, and then three again. And then one over, three like that, and then one over, and three more. Now, the golden chalk in the center. Watch out, crazy horse. You're get Crazy horse, you're getting in the way. Back up a little bit. I was expecting some crazy effect to happen, but I guess I guess it's fine. So how much power we got? We got 3,068 power. Crazy horse. We are in this thing. Now, we need a redstone and what is what it say? Let's take a look. We needed a circle talisman. We got that inner redstone. So let's go ahead and grab uh, the... Oh, we got one redstone. <laughs> That's kind of ironic. Um, so let's go ahead and put the redstone in here. Oof. And the circle talisman. Oof. And click on the golden chuck. Whoa! Oh! What just happened? What just happened? I don't. I think I picked up the redstone by accident. <laughs> oh! Oh! It took the redstone out. What's it doing? <laughs> it needs some like epic music. Ooh, we got the small ritual circle talisman. Wait, where did my circle go? Crazy horse, what'd you do? Oh! One of the one of the birches grew. That scared me. Now we got even more power. Thank you, Mr. Birch. Let's grow the birches and we'll have unlimited power. Um, I think that actually, you know what I think that did? Actually, circle of talisman. Oh, that's what that does. Oh my God, guys, this is sweet. So like this thing will pull up the, uh, the circle like, wait, how do I? Oh, oh, well, I'm out of redstone now. <laughs> Dang it. So what that does, if you if you throw this down and throw the redstone down, you can actually pull the circle up into this thing and carry it around with you. That is sick. Um, seven by seven and 11, 11 charges. So we need a tombstone, redstone, wood ash, quick climb, and glowstone dust. So let's go ahead and make a, a tombstone because I don't think I have one, actually. Plenty of rowan saplings. We'll just steal one real quick. Steal one right there. And then we have clay jars, and we should have some coal in here to power it. Good, good. So let's go ahead and throw that in the witch's oven. Clay jar, uh, power source, and rowan sapling. So that will give us possibly a whiff of magic, but if not, we can get some more saplings from here. Ooh, yeah. Let's get all the saplings. We don't have any saplings. Oh, there's one. Come on, give me more saplings than this, because we did not get... Uh, the whiff of magic from the uh, Rowan Sapling. So, <clears throat> now I know there's another way actually. Whiff of magic, you can do it in the distillery. Oh, right, the breath of the goddess of the lapis lazuli gives you all these. Wait, do do I have one? Am I doing this for no reason? I swear I have one. No. I have breath of the goddess though, so let's go and show you guys how the distillery works. So, we're going to want to put some clay pots in there, so let's grab six right there. Breath of the goddess on the top, and. Uh, what was in the middle? Lapis was lit. So let's grab the lapis and put that right there. And then that will start making that pot uh, any second now. There he goes. Sweet. So let's go ahead and put this back. Rowan wood right there. Uh, we do need the rowan wood for something. I can't remember. But So this will give us possibly a whiff of magic. But this will guarantee a whiff of magic once this is fully completed. It just takes a little bit longer than the oven, which is kind of a bummer. But we're getting wood ash, uh, wood ash anyways, so it's all good. Um, with the diamond and the lava, so we go. Ahead, we can go ahead and get the lava. So let me grab a bucket from here, and then I think there's lava this way. 
into the lava. There we go. Bucket of lava. Let's go back. Charged. Our crazy horse. Welcome back. <laughs> you like teleported, but okay. Um, lava, and we need a diamond. And then a whip of magic, which will be in here guaranteed, but it could possibly be. Yes, we got one. Lava. And we have an attuned stone. So now all we need to do for circle magic is an attuned stone, a glowstone dust. We have that. Redstone, wood, ash, and quicklime. So let's go ahead and throw that down and throw the redstone down and use that. Boom. And one, two, three, wait for it. Punk! And that sucks up the circle. Like so. Into this little thing. So now we can get to drawing. So uh, we need five wide. So sorry, Birch, but you gotta go. Um, five wide. Let's go ahead and take a look at the circle book. Again, I feel like a crazy witch right now, let me tell you. <laughs> um, put. Wait, can I just put this down in the center? Because this is the uh, original one. Here we go. Oh, guys, I'm sm Look at this circle. Crazy horse. This is crazy. There we go. So we got the circle done. Now let's put all the required materials in. So we need a tombstone, wood ash, and all of these. Just in that general direction. <laughs> Quick lime, redstone, and glowstone. Go ahead and use it. Oh! One, two, and three, and next and and the last one makes dun -da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. I wish I had better sound effects but uh, it's cool <laughs> guys that's pretty sick but what were we doing with it <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and look up the circle what were we doing with it oh yeah necromancy necromancy so we have an attuned stone a bone we need bone rotten flesh let's go look up I think we have bone in here so let's do this fast because I want to I want to really get this done this sounds pretty awesome like I can raise the dead that sounds insane uh, oh there's rotten flesh right there we got one of them we got the bone now okay so let's go ahead and take a look at the recipes again uh, uh, we got the wood ash definitely got the wood ash iron sword and spectral wait I don't know how to make spectral dust ectoplasm how do you get ectoplasm uh, so ectoplasm and <laughs> crazy horse requires some weird stuff so I think we are just going to uh, for all extents and purposes spawn some in we're just gonna go ahead and get four of those but that's it we're not gonna spawn in anything else we are just going to get four ectoplasm around a gas tier now I have a gas tier uh, somewhere in here uh, our nugget where is there they are the gas tiers so we should have everything now we need uh, an iron sword for some reason wood ash so let's make an iron sword uh, we just need st uh, oh, we need some wood because I think we just need sticks oh there's some wood there we go um, a, a thingy thing I forget what it's called a spectral tear um, that is received from like spooky logs or something it's like a random biome that you just have to travel to but we ain't gonna travel so far to find it so let's go ahead and throw all this down one at a time uh, well, I guess we can throw it all in one spot. So let's just go ahead and throw it right there. Whew. Now let's right click this. Oh, it's going! It's going! It's working! Crazy! It's nighttime! Dun, 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 dun. Oh! Oh! What happened? Oh my god, what's going on? What the heck is going on, Crazy Horse? What? Is it still going? What's going on, Crazy Horse? Dude, I'd, I'd get out of the circle, Crazy Horse. I'd get out of the circle, dude. Oh, wait, I gotta stay in here. I'm getting hurt on the outside of the circle. Is it going? <laughs> I'm still confused at what's happening. Oh my god, Crazy Horse, what is going on? This is driving me crazy. Is it working, though? Is it, I mean, the red is still there. It's definitely working. I survived. Come on, look. Oh my god, this, this is insane. All right, now we're talking about some special effects. Oh, watch out, Crazy Horse, you're on fire! Oh man, oh man. It ended. What the heck? What the heck, Crazy Horse? <gasps> it's it's daytime! That was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. What happened, though? It didn't work. Well, Crazy Horse, we're making an, another another a tombstone, so... <laughs> that's kind of funky. I don't know why that didn't work, but we're going to attempt again. Maybe it turned into daytime while the ritual was going? I don't know. <gasps> yes, it's going. Yes, it's taking the items now. Crazy horse, this is gonna work. Come on, let it be night time. I think it broke again. Oh, it's doing it again, crazy horse. Time set night. Time set night. I don't know what's going on. Time set night. Did it take it? 
Oh man, what's what's going on? It took all the rest of the items actually now. Is that a good? Is that a good? Ow! Oh, get away from me! You scared me. Maybe I gotta stay in the circle the entire time. I, there, I killed. I killed a zombie. Oh god, I'm dying. I need to do some cooking. I need some cooking dinosaur. Oh man. Oh man, this is crazy. Come on. Come on, ritual necromancy stone. I want it. C crazy horse, pay attention. It, it, it ended. It, it took my items, but it didn't give me anything. <laughs> I'm a failure of a witch, crazy horse. I'm a failure of a witch. I don't know what's going on. Do you guys know what's going on? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> That's uh, unfortunate. I guess we're going to have to uh, delve into something different. Is it because I did it with a... Is it because I did it with a, a powerful... No, the altar's got a lot of power. Is it because I did it with an 11 by 11? You can only do it with a 7 by 7? <gasps> you know what? I think that is actually the problem. Crazy horse, we gotta... We gotta... We gotta... Um, we gotta suck... Man! That sucks! That's why it, maybe it was lightening all the uh, the circles around it. That sucks. Well, we're gonna have to attempt that in the next uh, episode, Crazy Horse, because we're gonna wind this one down. I'm a failure of a witch today, but tomorrow we will get better. But that's pretty crazy, guys. I'm excited to see what more witchery mod will bring to the content. That seems pretty insane. I want to be a vampire. Uh, I definitely want to know how do I turn into that. That sounds insane. Also, the uh, uh, the circles are pretty cool. We're gonna have to you're gonna have to learn how to do the necromancy stuff. I think I'm a little bit of a noob. I probably bit off more than I can chew, so I'm gonna have to look into that. But if you guys any have any tips for witchery, let me know in the comments because this is completely new to me. Um, I just have my altar full power, and that's all I know. So bam. But yep, if you guys had fun, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. There is more crazy Minecraft content. I'm sorry you didn't get to see me learned the rest of witchery uh, before this episode i completely messed up and ruined the episode by not having audio recording i'm a noob never gonna happen again it's because i like i'm in a new setup so i'm not comfortable yet with it but we are done i hope you guys have a good day um please leave a like it means a lot to me it means you guys are liking the content let me know in the comments what you want to come uh, next after witchery after i master the art of, of the witch and uh we're gonna get twilight probably fixed soon so we're, i'm gonna jump back into that guys don't worry about that and then we will uh have another subscriber of the day tomorrow so just leave your name in the comments and whatever you want to be if you want to be my witch servant uh so be it i'll make it happen you guys have a great day this is cannibal crab uh, along with Crazy Horse, don't forget about Crazy Horse, with his long sword, with his really long, dangerous, red, popsicle-looking sword, um, signing out.